magandang umaga po. Nais ko po kayong i-welcome sa ating uh, seven minutes prayer and devotion. Ako po si Pastor Jose Pagaw. Ang um, magbabahagi po sa inyo ngayon ang salita ng Diyos. At ang aking pong ibabahagi sa inyo ay mula sa unang Korento chapter 1 verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9. And it says, God is faithful by whom you were called unto the fellowship of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Uh, ito po ang ating pag-aaralan ngayong umaga. At uh, simulan po natin ang ating pong pag-aaral uh, ng, ng uh, talatang ito. Number one, The characteristic of God. God is faithful. Uh, ito po ang isang um, divine characteristic of God. The meaning of this is God is true and constant and will uh, adhere to His promises. He will not lie. He will not promise and then fail to perform it. He will not commence anything which He will not perfect and finish. That is our God. Uh, the object of uh, Paul in introducing the faithfulness of God here is to show that Christians in Corinth would be kept unto eternal life and he present also the evidence that they might uh, depend depends on God that uh, they might have confidence on him that called him unto the fellowship of his son Jesus Christ and we too might have also confidence on him who also called us into the fellowship of his son Jesus Christ and that we might also have confidence that he who began a good work in us will complete it and finish it until Christ return in um, Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 Being confident of this very thing, that He which hath begun a good work in you will also perform it until the day of uh, Jesus Christ. Ako po ay um, confident na ang pagkatawag po sa akin ay iingatan niya hanggang sa dumating ang Panginoong Jesus. And number two is the cause of the calling. God has sufficient reason and sufficient grace when He called us. He made us able to do His will by giving the Holy Spirit Fellowship here in Greek word is koinonia, which means to partnership, to participate, to contribute. This may mean to participate with Christ, to, uh, to partnership with Christ, to participate and to contribute in the ministry of His Church, the body of Christ. It might be in the forderance of the Gospel, evangelism. It might be in the edifying of the Church, building and strengthening the Church people. It might be in the giving for the needs of the church ministry and uh, 
Number three, the conclusion of of this calling. The conclusion of this calling. So, First uh, Corinthians chapter three, verse nine. It says, "For we are laborers together with God." And in Second Corinthians chapter six, verse one, we then, as workers together with Him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. We are called to the fellowship, the partnership, to participate, to contribute in the ministry of Jesus Christ. Maraming salamat. And let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you so much, Lord, sa uh, umagang ito na ako po ay nabigyan ng favor and opportunity to share uh, your words. And uh, I pray na this, uh, the message of this uh, passage will mot uh, motivate us to to do our uh, obligation duties and responsibilities as Christian in the body of Christ in Jesus name Amen